Good morning, everybody. Are you ready for today's folk hero? This is John Henry, an American legend. The story and pictures are by Ezra Jack Keats. This person, John Henry, was a real person. This folk tale is based on the life of a real person, but some details have been exaggerated and some it's become a very tall tale based on a real person named John Henry. A hush settled over the hills. The sky swirled soundlessly round the moon. The river stopped murmuring, the wind stopped whispering, and the frogs and the owls and the crickets fell silent, all watching and waiting and listening. Then the river roared. The wind whispered and whistled and sang. The frogs croaked, the owls hooted, and all the crickets chirped. Welcome, welcome, echoed through the hills. And John Henry was born, born with a hammer in his hand. Bang, 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 rang little John Henry's hammer through the cabin as he crawled about. What's that rascal up to now, his mother chuckled. And before she knew it, he was big enough to help her around the house. As he grew up, he did a man's work with his father. One day, John Henry thought, I'm taller and stronger than anyone around. It's time I went out into the world. He said goodbye to his mother and father and off he went. He worked on farms and in cotton fields, but all that was too tame. So he got himself a job on a river boat. One stormy night, the ship plowed through the darkness. Suddenly the big steel rod that turned the paddle wheel broke. The wheel stopped turning. Smash went the rod through the bottom of the ship. Pump water, shouted the captain. Get to port before we sink. John Henry leaped to the paddle wheel crank. He seized it, pushed and grunted and pulled. Slowly, the giant wheel turned. With all his strength, he kept it turning. Lord almighty, help us, someone whispered in that long, dark night. As day broke, they sighted shore and pulled into port. A thunderous cheer went up for John Henry. John Henry felt a new excitement in the air. Men were talking of railroads being built from the Atlantic to the Pacific. They're going to lay those tracks over rivers, across prairies and deserts, and right through mountains. And through Indian lands and stampeding buffalo herds and bad lands. Goodbye, boys, cried John Henry. I'm going to swing me a hammer on them beautiful new tracks. My hands are just itching to hold a hammer again, John Henry said. He tried one for size and laughed. It sure does feel fine. How he drove those spikes singing to the clanging of his hammer. The men joined in, their voices singing, hammers ringing. And John Henry's gang was in the lead as day after day the tracks moved steadily westward. Rising across their path was a sprawling mountain range. Its snow-capped peaks reached high into the clouds. We'll have to tunnel through, said his friend Lil Bill. It'll be awful dangerous. Could be cave-ins, someone put in. That suits me fine, said John Henry. Me too, added Lil Bill. Here's how we'll do it, boys, the foreman called out. A couple of men will drive a hole into the rock. Then the powder men will put dynamite into the hole and explode it. The others will cart the loose rock away. We'll do this again and again until we have a tunnel right through this mountain. And it's going to be a real big tunnel, boys. Big enough for a giant locomotive pulling one of them, one of them long strings of trains. All right, boys, blast away. Deep into the mountain they worked as John Henry's singing echoed through the tunnel. The powder men got ready to blast more rock. They filled a hole with dynamite, put in a long fuse and lit it. Run, men, cried the foreman. They all scrambled back, ready to dash clear of the blast. At that instant came a great cracking and rumbling and the entire tunnel trembled around them. It's a cave-in, we're trapped. There was no place to run. The fuse bur burned closer to the dynamite. John Henry was nearest the fuse. He ran to put it out, but tripped and fell. 
Oh, I'm hurt bad, he groaned. I can't get up. The fuse burned farther out of reach. Others rushed toward it, but they were too far away. Suddenly, John Henry remembered. He still had his hammer in his hand. Down came the hammer, smack on the burning tip. The fuse was out, danger passed. Sighs of relief filled the smoky tunnel. Whew, help me up boys, mumbled John Henry. Clearing their way through the cave-in, the men carried him to safety. Some days later, they heard an unfamiliar clatter. Down the tunnel came a group of men with strange machine. This is a steam drill. It can drill more holes faster than any six men combined, a new man bragged. Who can beat that? John Henry stepped forward. Try me. He and Lil Bill took their workplaces. John Henry gripped his hammer. Lil Bill clutched his steel drill. Check the machine, came an order. A nervous hand fell on the switch. In the dark, both sides waited for the signal to start. A hoarse voice counted, one, two, three. The machine shrieked as it started. John Henry swung his hammer and a crash of steel on steel split the air. Clang, bang, clang. The drill got red hot in Lil Bill's hands. He quickly dropped it and picked up another. Hiss, whistle, rattle. Men frantically heaved coal into the hungry, roaring engine and poured water into the steaming boiler. Whoop, clang, whoop, bang. John Henry's hammer whistled as he swung it. Chug, chug, clatter, rattled the machine. Hour after hour raced by, the machine was ahead. Hand me that 20 pound hammer, Lil Bill. Harder and faster crashed the hammer. Great chunks of rock fell as John Henry ripped hole after hole in the tunnel wall. The machine rattled and whistled and drilled even faster. Friends doused John Henry and Lil Bill with cold water to keep them going. Then John Henry took a deep breath, picked up two sledgehammers and sang, Ain't no hammers, strike such fire, strike the lightning, Lord, and I won't tire. Hammers like this, Lord, there's never been. I'll keep swinging them, Lord, until we win. John Henry swung both mighty hammers faster and faster. He moved so fast that the men could only see a blur and sparks from his striking hammers. His strokes rang out like great heartbeats. All the other side of the tunnel, the machine shrieked, groaned and rattled and drilled. Then all at once, it shook and shuddered, wheezed and stopped. Frantically, men worked to get it going again, but they couldn't, it had collapsed. John Henry's hammering still rang and echoed through the tunnel with a strong and steady beat. Suddenly, there was a great crash. Light streamed into the dark tunnel. John Henry had broken through. Wild cries of joy burst from the men. Still holding one of his hammers, John Henry stepped out into the glowing light of a dying day. It was the last step he ever took. Even the great heart of John Henry could not bear the strain of his last task. John Henry died with his hammer in his hand. If you listen to the locomotives roaring through the tunnels and across the land, you'll hear them singing, singing of that great steel driving man, John Henry, listen. And that's the end. What parts of that story do you think are true? Remember we said John Henry was a real person. Well, do you think when he was born, he had a hammer in his hand? Is that possible? No. Could he have died with a hammer in his hand? Yeah, if he, if he died, if his heart gave out and he died, he could have had a hammer in his hand. But maybe he had a hammer so often that people were saying that, that he was born with a hammer in his hand and he died with a hammer in his hand, just because it was their way of saying he had a hammer a lot. This is how tall tales are made. People take the truth and stretch it just a little, and then the next person stretches it just a little more. I have a John Henry challenge for you if you want to try. Measure two 
feet long. Take a, take a ruler, take a tape measure, measure two feet long and see if you can build a train exactly two feet long. You can use Legos, you can use blocks, you can use paper towel tubes. Use whatever you want. See if you can make a train exactly two feet long. Measure it, and if you, have, if you do it, give, take a picture and email it to me. I would love to see your train. I hope you enjoyed the story of John Henry, an American legend. Have a great day.